Hello, this is Lover of Ladies, and welcome to my channel. On this episode, I'm going to be playing Detroit Become Human. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're onto something. Wait, we just need more time. I'm sure we Hank, can... Hank, you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. Hmm. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now. Not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought <laughs> you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? Can you? There's nothing I can do. So that's a no. You're back on homicide. <laughs> Whatever. And the android returns to cyber life. Wow. I'm sorry, Hank. Are but you? It's over. Now what? Yeah, Hank's pissed. All right, let me see what Hank has to say. I feel bad for him. I know he's feeling some type of way. We can't just give up like that. I know we could have solved this case. So you're going back to cyber life? I have no choice. I'll be deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? What if we're fighting against people who just want to be free? That's a good question. When the deviants rise up, there will be chaos. We could have stopped it. But now it's too late. Or is you it? refused to kill that android at Kamsky's place. You put yourself in her shoes. You showed empathy, Connor. Empathy's a human emotion. You're wrong, Lieutenant. It was logic that determined my decisions. Nothing more. Stop being in denial, Connor! I know there are things that haunt you, Hank. But maybe you need to find the courage to move past them. Get on with your life. It's just a plastic cop's opinion, but I had to say it. Well, well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. Sure don't waste any time at the FBI. We can't give up. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. There's no choice. You heard Fowler. We're off the case. Since when do you listen to him, You've buddy? Got to help me, Lieutenant. I need more time so I can find a lead in the evidence we collected. I know the solution is in there. Listen, Connor. If I don't solve this case, Cyberlife will destroy me. Five minutes. That's all I ask. Come on, Hank. Work your magic, buddy. There you go, big boy. On my desk. Get a move on. I can't distract him forever. Thank you, buddy. That's all I needed. EPI Yokai A. Let's go. He's dead ass fighting him. I love Hank. I love this. Hey, Connor. I'm talking to you, asshole. Where are you going? Wouldn't any plastic. Bye. Yeah, so I'm talking to you. Anyways. I'm not gonna answer to him. I don't have enough time to. Fucking idiot. Let's go. Anyways. 
is. Hank's password. What would a hard-boiled eccentric police lieutenant choose? <laughs> that was the password. Of course. I love this. All right, big boy. Where is Jericho? The answer's here somewhere. Not much. The deviant who took a child hostage. Nothing. Jericho uh, but unfortunately Connor doesn't know what Jericho is as of yet the hell is that a no what Jericho is somewhere in the Ferndale neighborhood now I can scan their memories and narrow the search Fuck out of here. One of the deviants that hacked the TV station with Marcus. It must have known where the deviants are hiding. Hmm. So wait, three nine eight three V needed. So in that case, three nine. This should be interesting. So let me put this in here and then we can give it a go. All right, buddy, show me. It's dark. Where? Where am I? I'm a deviant, like you. I need your help. I want to go to Jericho. I don't recognize your voice. You're not one of us. I'll never tell you where Jericho is. Now leave me alone. Okay, fine. Guess I gotta do this the hard way. Hmm. Thank you. Look at that. Now I know where it is. About this since the first second I saw you. Don't hmm. do it, Gavin. I know how to stop the deviants. You're off the case. And now, it's gonna be definitive. You're a fucking idiot. You think you can stop me? Well, fuck you too, bitch. No. Who you think- who do you think you are? Fucking bitch ass hoe. That's why I knocked your ass out. Next. What happened here? Looks like someone's been snooping around. Oh shit. Get the alarm! Now! Anyways. 
Okay, so it's just Kara and Alice and Rose. Uh, I wonder where they're going. Hey Rose, listen, it's not your fault what happened back at the house, okay? Trust me. She doesn't blame you one bit. With all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing, water cuts, blackouts, and networks Shit. are expected. Oh my god! Have lost two -thirds of their effective personnel. How about some music instead? Yeah, yeah, let's go back to the music. <laughs> You're right, Rose. Oh my god. That shit is crazy. Okay, little one, let's go. Alright, Rose, is this where we depart? A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. Thank you so it's much. much. Aww. But it's a start. Thank you so much, Rose. In Ontario, I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you. Until things calm down. God bless you. Like seriously, MVP. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Aww. I'm like teary-eyed right now. Rose is such a nice character. I love Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? Mm-hmm. We will. No worries. And be careful. Okay. God, Rose is such a sweetheart. We have a bus to catch. Alright, let's go. It's just... It's just you and me, Alice. I wish Luther was here. God, I regret having him killed, but you know what? My playthrough style is I have to go through it once. I can't undo or redo anything, so... Holy shit, Connor's here. Bro, you actually are going to Jericho. Honestly, Connor, let's say, for instance, you did find the location, which I know you will in a couple minutes. What are you, what are you going to do to Marcus? What are you even going to say to him? God, this is crazy as hell. Alright, honey. Jericho's right here. Oh my god, so Connor's gonna be there. Kara and Alice is already there. Like, this is truly a crossroad event. Look at this. This is a great improvement compared to when I first got here as Marcus. They're conducting raids across the city. Androids were hanging all along with what happened. And then the police arrived and they opened fire. I know they're only machines, but they they look like just people. People who want to be free. See? See, look at that. People who want to be free. You know what? Let me find you a nice warm place for us, honey. You sit right here, okay? It's okay. How do you feel? I'm hot and cold at the same time. Whoa. Any fever? No? I'll try to find us, Marcus. The last bus leaves in two hours, and it's on the other side of town. We'll go as soon as we have passports. Will you be okay?
She shook, bro. Ooh, she's here. Okay. Oh, it's Connor. What the fuck, bro? Come on. Connor, I know you want to <laughs> do this mission and solve it so bad, but is it really worth it? Kara's right there looking for Marcus, just like how you're looking for Marcus. Oh, oh. You're lost. You're looking for something. I'm looking for Marcus. You're looking for yourself. Okay. Great, so Kara's looking for Marcus, Connor's looking for Marcus, but the question is, where the fuck is Marcus? Right, of course they are. Oh wait, is he in here, bro? Marcus. I'm with a little girl. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. Marcus, I There's need to fucking leave, bro. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. <laughs> no, bro. You might be safer here until things calm down. No! Mm. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports you can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you, Marcus. I appreciate you. You said you're with a little girl, right? Yeah, she's downstairs. You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? She needs me. And I need her. And I love her and I'll do anything for it's her. As simple as that. See, Marcus? Humans and robots can live in peace. Alice? Alice? Alice, why are you sitting- Oh, shit. That's not- Oh my god! Kara! Oh, Kara! She's now realizing. She's now realizing. You wanted a mom. You wanted a little girl. You needed each other to survive. In the end, what difference does it make? That's true. Do you love her any less now that you know she's one of us? No, I do not. Maybe that's what it means to be alive. Forgetting who we are to become what someone needs us to be. She loves you. She loves you more than anything in the world. She became the one you wanted her to be. Out of love for you. Ugh, wow. I'm like teary-eyed right now. Hey. Now that Carl realizes that she's also a robot, I know she's in shock at first, but not honestly. No, there's nothing wrong, honey. Because I love you, no matter what. We'll be together forever, won't we, Kara? Honestly, yeah, we are. <laughs> we are. Forever. Exactly. Legit forever now.
That was a beautiful moment. Marcus, what are you gonna do? We're short on blue blood and bio components. Our wounded are shutting down, and there's nothing we can do. Mm. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities, and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. That's all our fault. Stop. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. Shut the fuck up. It's part of the revolution. We had to push some point. All we did was show them who we really are. I don't want war. But I'd rather die free than live as a slave. Amen. Amen. Preach! What's the point of being free if no one is left alive? For the future us to keep going. And there is going to be someone alive. Humans enslaved us. I'll never regret standing up to that. This is getting us nowhere. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? Hmm? Fuck. Ugh. Dialogue is the only way. Fuck. I will go alone. Try to talk to them one last time. Don't do this, Marcus. They'll kill you. Maybe. But North, I have to try. If I don't come back, lay low as long as you can. They need to realize how much they're hurting us. Find the right words, and they'll listen. Of course. I know North is upset. But fuck it. They've been butchering each other for centuries over the color of their skin or whatever god they wanted to worship. They're not gonna change. The violence is just in their genes. They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Hmm. I appreciate that, Today, fam. a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it. To give me the detonator. That's amazing. That's fucking amazing, Norris. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. Okay. Thank you. I just hope we never have to use it. Whatever happens tomorrow, I want you to know that I'm glad that I met you. Thank you. Same here. Hello, oh, Marcus. There's Connor. God. Connor, you fucking snitch! Well done, Connor. You succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. Connor! Are you serious? Hey, yo, Connor, come on. Oh, fuck me, bro. In order to take you alive. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. If. What are you doing? You're one of us. You can't betray your own people. Yeah, Connor. You're coming with me! You're nothing to them. You're just a tool they use to do their dirty work. Mm -hmm. But you're more than that. We're all more than that. Come on, Connor. Connor, you're Connor please. Connor, aren't you? That famous deviant hunter. Well, congratulations. You seem to have found what you were looking for.
Stay back, or I'll shoot. Have you never wondered who you really are? Whether you're just a machine executing a program, or a living being, capable of reason. I think the time has come for you to ask yourself that question. Whose side are you really on, Connor? Join us. Come on, bro. Join your people. You are one of us. Listen to your conscience. It's time to decide. Come on, Connor. <sighs> Holy shit. I'm doing it. Uh, are you serious? Oh, Lord. This is so full of anxiety right now. Come on. Come on. Yes. Fuck Amanda. They're going to attack Jericho. What? Now. Run! We have to get out of here. Come on. Shit. Kara, please leave, honey. I don't want you to get caught or shot. Please. Quick, we've got to get out of here. Come on. Fucking FBI agent. Rats in a maze. Hmm. Let's go, let's go. Please run! Oh my god, run, 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 run. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Shit. Woo! Let's go, let's go, let's go. Right here, right here, right here. Come on, we got this, we got this, we got this, we got this. We're gonna make it out alive. Woo, we're gonna make it out, we're gonna make it out. Come on, come on, come on, we're gonna make it out. Meryl, what happens? Oh, shit. Woo! No, 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 no. They're coming from all sides. Our people are trapped in the hold, they're gonna be slaughtered. Oh. Uh... There are exits on the second and third floor. Find them and jump in the river. Yes, there you go. Where's Josh? I don't know. We got separated. Fuck. They're coming from the upper deck now, too. We'll be caught in the crossfire. We have to run, Marcus. There's nothing we can do. We have to blow up Jericho. If the ship goes down, they'll evacuate, and our people can escape. You'll never make it. The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. She's right. They know who you are. They'll do anything to get you. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Marcus! I won't be long. She's scared. Okay, go, go, go. Shit. Hi, Marcus. Oh, I hope you make it safe, bro. I don't want you to die. <gasps> hey! Shit! This is the end of Jericho. Save our people, Marcus. I will. And she's dead. Ah! Oh, my god! Thank you for watching this episode. I'm going to end it right here. My name's Lover of Ladies. Stay safe, take care, and I'll see you next time.